Well, God, it's me again. Coming to you in the name of your son Jesus, asking that you grant us your favor, grant us your presence, Lord. We ask, Father God, that you continue to watch over your children as we go about our daily lives trying to serve you. Thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' most holy name. And all of God's children said amen. Amen and amen. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I feel really, really good today. Welcome to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of God our Father. Uh, his Son, Jesus, who happens to be our Lord, Savior, and indeed our Redeemer, and His precious Holy Spirit. Welcome to 7-Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CO Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church in Sasson, Georgia, where we have in-person worship on 2nd and 4th Sundays. Uh, 10.30 starts our Sunday school, 11.30 starts our regular worship service. If you're in the area, please, ma'am, please, sir, come through. We would love to have you and uplift the name of Jesus together. Uh, the purpose for this broadcast is just to give a little additional Jesus so that you can, uh, a lot of us don't don't really uh, think about him until Sunday or until something goes wrong. But we should praise him through every situation, even when we don't think we have a situation. Praise the Lord. So this week's topic has been salvation. And our subtopic tonight is will you receive it? So today is Friday, the 29th of uh, July, um, and this is going to be the last Sunday coming in July, the fifth Sunday. Uh, our scripture comes from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verses 12 through 17, where we find the following recorded, Yea, excuse me, ye, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God's word for God's people. Salvation. And will you receive it? So, I guess the question is, what does it take for you to make up your mind? Hmm. Elijah once said, he came before all the people and he said, how long will y'all stand between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answer him not a word. It's funny how folks won't be the ones to stand out on God's word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Can you stand by yourself? Can you say, here am I, Lord, send me? Matthew 7, 13 through 16 says, Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, mm, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Salvation. Will you receive it? How? The Bible says, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Will you lift him up? That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, 
hallelujah, might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Whoo! Hallelujah. Yes, salvation has been paid for. The song said, I am redeemed, bought with a price. Hallelujah. So Jesus paid it all on yonder's old rugged cross. When he allowed, notice I say allowed, when he allowed them to nail his hands and feet to the cross and to lift him up. Hallelujah, somebody. When they lifted him up. Woo! Jesus. Jesus said, I lay down my life. No one can take it from me. Believe on him. And on the one who sent him. Salvation. Will you receive it? I'm praying to you right now, Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus. We're thanking you right now for life, health, and strength being as well as it is. We're thanking you, Lord, for all of your wondrous blessings. We're thanking you, Lord, for continuing to provide a way for us, even in the midst of our own sometimes disbelief and sometimes ways. Father, we thank you right now for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ, and his sacrifice at the cross. We thank you right now, Father, for the guidance and the comfort of your Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you right now. In Jesus' most holy name and with the witness of your Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Share this message with somebody. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The song says, I am redeemed bought with a price jesus has changed my whole life if anybody should ask you just who i am oh tell them that i am redeemed good night family god bless you we'll see you next week where there was hate, mm -hmm. love now abides.